YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about how many sets should you be doing for your exercises. And so again, if you're doing squats, if you're doing bench press, if you're doing hip thrust, if you're doing bicep curls, any single exercise, how many sets should you be doing for that exercise? And I'm going to be honest with you. If you're somebody who just like you just want the most simple, basic answer of exactly what it is, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. So if you like don't want to learn anything, you don't care about anything, you just want to know like the six second answer, you can scroll ahead to the end and probably just catch it. Uh, it's not going to make nearly as much sense and it's not going to, you won't understand why you're going to do that, which is probably going to then impact your results. So, but if that's you, then you know, feel free to go ahead. But if you actually do want to learn and it, if you want to understand why that is the answer, you should probably just watch the whole video. I promise you, it will be worth it if you watch the whole video. Because it's a complex answer that's not just one or the other. There are some nuance that goes into, there is some nuance. Grammar police would have got me. There is some nuance that goes into answering this question. So let's start off by talking about something I've chatted before on this channel a couple of times. And so for those of you who are not new to the channel and you watched a few of my videos, you'll probably remember me saying this, but I'll just lay it out briefly, really quickly. The first thing this question is actually going to come down to is the amount of sets per muscle group per week that you are trying to get in throughout the course of a week because the amount of sets per muscle group per week is one of the most important things you should be shooting for in your workouts and so obviously if you need to figure out how many sets per muscle group per week you're doing that's going to obviously then bleed into how many sets you should be doing for each given exercise so for the most part for your bigger muscle groups, things like um, your quads, things like your hamstrings, your glutes, um, your back, your chest, if you are trying to focus on like, you know, building a bigger chest or whatever it is, or, and that's the second part, or if you're really trying to like focus on a specific muscle group. So like, again, if you are really trying to focus on growing your glutes or whatever it is, you should be getting roughly around 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. So for example, let's just say you do three sets of a hip thrust. That is going to be three sets towards your 10 to 20 sets, if that makes sense. Okay. So that goes for bigger muscle groups. Um, the other one is four to eight sets per muscle group per week. This is going to be for muscle groups that aren't as big. So like, for example, and nothing, this is not, um, not a knock on you, but like your biceps, for example, your biceps and your quad, like no offense, but your bicep is not a big muscle compared to your quad. Don't worry, it's not a big muscle for any of us compared to our quad, but like biceps, triceps, side lateral raises, rear delts, things of that nature. You don't need to be doing 20 sets of bicep per week and you don't need to be doing 20 sets of rear delt per week. So for those smaller muscle groups, generally speaking, you wanna be somewhere around that four to eight, maybe up to 10 rep range because you have to also remember, let's just take your biceps for example. When you are doing rows, when you are doing like a chin up or a lat pull down, your bicep has to be getting worked in those movements. And again, your back, is a bigger muscle group than your biceps, right? So your back's probably gonna fall in that 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. And so if you're already doing 15 sets of back, where it rows, pull downs, all of these things, you're not gonna need as many sets for your biceps because your biceps are already getting worked and you just kinda wanna put a little bit extra on those to be able to you know, have them uh, see progress and gains and so on and so forth. So that's why for your smaller muscle groups, you might not need as many direct sets per muscle group per week, or if just like, you know, again, maybe you wanna grow your glutes and you're not super focused on like getting a bigger chest at the moment. Like maybe you just have like four sets per muscle group per week for your chest to like maintain where you currently are. And then, you know, you can put more volume towards the muscle groups that you want to kind of like prioritize. So this is important again, because you're gonna see throughout the flow of this video, all of this stuff kind of plays into each other. But for the most part, that is 10 to 20 for bigger muscle groups or muscle groups you're focusing on, four to eight for your smaller muscle groups or just muscle groups you're really not that concerned with growing or, or improving at the specific moment in time. Now, I wanna also make this very clear as well. When I say these numbers, I mean 10 to 20 working sets 
per muscle group per week or four to eight working sets. I'm not talking about warm up sets. And this is gonna be, remember this nugget of information because this is gonna be important as we go on later in the video. But I'm talking about working sets and the difference between a working set and a warm up set. A working set, you are taking that set within one to three reps shy of failure. So it's a very hard, a very challenging set. A warm-up set is where you do not take it close to failure. It doesn't really challenge you. We will include those in this conversation later in the video, but like for this specific thing, I'm not talking about warm-up sets. I'm only talking about working sets. So just keep that in mind. Again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now that we know, you know how many sets per muscle group per week and stuff like that you're trying to shoot for, I'm also going to talk about how many exercises are you doing per workout. And also, you know, kind of on top of here, I will put how many workout days are you having per week? Me personally, in the way I program workouts inside of my clubhouse or with any of my clients or whatever, we do either a three day a week program or a four day a week program. Three days a week is lower body, upper body, full body. Four days a week is gonna be lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body. The reason this is important is, again, you want to figure out how many exercises you should be doing for those specific workouts. So I talked earlier about up here, it's sets per muscle group per week, right? This would somewhat depend on, again, it, it, maybe if you're trying to focus on a specific muscle group for, versus not focus on a specific muscle group, or you know, maybe you're going through a phase that's a bit more balanced. This somewhat depends on the program that you are following, but what I can tell you is how many exercises per workout you should probably be aiming for. So I know this is a little bit small to see, that's what she said, but it says lower body is exercises per workout is gonna be four to six total exercises. For upper body, it's gonna be six to 10 total exercises for that workout. And then a full body workout is again, gonna be six to 12 exercises. I really would not go past 12 exercises in a full body day. I almost put six to 10, but in some scenarios you may add on a little bit more at the end. But that's how many exercises per workout you should be doing. Now again, there's a lot that goes into this and this could be an entire like 12 hour course, but I'm gonna stick with Let's just say, as an example, you are trying to really focus on your glutes, right? Let's say on a lower body day, you are doing either two or three exercises for your glutes. Because again, in total, you're having four to six exercises. And I get asked this question a lot too. People will ask me, hey, Eric, if I have two leg days per week, which again, with the splits that I told you, lower body, upper body, full body, or lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body, both of those things, you're hitting your muscle groups two times a week, right? So they'll ask me, well, should one day be more quad focused and should one day be more hamstring and glute focused? Yes, but also not really, because you should be doing both quads, or I guess all quads, hamstrings, glutes on the same day. Now again, for example, let's say your first lower body day, you have barbell back squats, right? And that really hits both quads and glutes. But let's just say that's a more quad dominant movement for the point of this thing, right? So let's say you start with that and then you finish off with, um, you know, you have Romanian deadlift, more of a glute focus. Let's say you have a uh, hip thrust variation, glute focused. And then let's say you have some sort of, uh, you know, walking lunge that can be glute focused. You had one quad exercise and then three glute exercises. And then let's say, for example, you have the other day where, you know, if you are still trying to focus on like your glutes, let's say your first exercise is a, again, some sort of Romanian deadlift variation. The second exercise is gonna be, let's say a quad bias leg press. So you're like hitting your quads. Third exercise is some sort of hip thrust, and then fourth exercise is some sort of um, Bulgarian split squat, right? So again, you are doing hamstrings, quads, and glutes all on the same day, but again, you can maybe bias it a little bit more towards which muscle group you are trying to focus on the most. So that was kind of a side note to the video right here, but I wanna make sure I cover that because I get asked that a lot. But let's go back to talking about like the two times per week, right? If you are doing two to three exercises for your glutes, and you know you need to have, let's just say, 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week for your glutes, if that's what you're really trying to focus on, 
Well then, cool. Let's say one day, again, you have a back squat and you also have a Romanian deadlift, hip thrust, and walking lunge that's glute bias. You have three glute exercises on that day, right? If you have three sets for each of those, that's already nine sets putting towards your glutes for that week. By the way, I usually would not go over nine to 10 sets per muscle group in a given workout. This is why it's also important to make sure you hit your muscle groups two times per week. Normally the research shows, and I can link some of the research here below if you wanna check it out, but the research shows after you get past that like 10 sets per muscle group per workout, you start to see diminishing returns. And so that leg day, very glute focused, very glute heavy, you've already done nine sets. Let's say the next leg day, again, you add in uh, two exercises where you know you do, again, a hip thrust variation and then some sort of uh, Romanian deadlift variation. Let's say you do uh, three sets for each of those as well. Well, now you have nine and you have six. You have 15 sets of glutes for that entire week. You would be perfect if you were able to do that in your workouts because again you know this kind of ties into the next question so i hope you're hopefully I'm, I'm not like losing you and hopefully you're sticking with me if i am i apologize but because you had three exercises on your first day for your glutes and two exercises on your other day for your glutes you would probably be around that like three sets per exercise because it would all like i said add up to what you're trying to do right here. But let's say, for example, you were only doing two dedicated glute exercises for that workout. So let's just say you did two and let's say you did three sets, right? So that would be six sets in six sets, right? Because you're doing two exercises each day. Cool, that still puts you at 12 working sets of glutes for the entire week. Again, if they're actually working sets where you're pushing them very close to failure, 12 sets of glutes per week is a really good amount of sets. But let's just say, for example, you wanted to add a little bit more. Cool, maybe you did four sets and four sets, and then four sets and four sets on the other day as well, still doing two exercises per day. You would then bump up to 16 sets of glutes per week without necessarily having to add extra exercises into your workouts. So again, how many sets per exercise you should be doing somewhat depends on how many sets you're going for for the week, and it also somewhat depends on how many exercises you're doing. Now, I'll give you my two cents, and this is where I'm gonna kinda just give you my knowledge and, and two cents of what I personally believe. So the amount of sets per exercise I would kind of personally recommend you doing is going to be anywhere in between that two to four sets per exercise. And generally speaking, I like to stay in that two to three. Really the only time I'm going to perform four sets in a row of a given exercise is if somebody has to. Two to three sets is usually where you can still push yourself how you need to without worrying about like having to do more sets because consciously or subconsciously when you do four sets of an exercise for you to keep up the level of intensity that you need in order to elicit an adaptation response and to be able to push yourself very close to failure for four full sets in a row not that it's impossible because it's not impossible, but it does just get a little bit challenging. It does challenge you mentally and physically, but mentally because like you almost want to like save reps or save sets or save the weight you use to be able to make sure you finish all four of your sets. And so this is why I personally like doing two to three sets where you push very close to failure. Like like the last couple of reps are like barely getting up on a shoulder press or a squat or whatever because that way you also don't have to do as many ex do, do as many sets in order to still elicit the adaptation response. Like for example, you can do 20 sets of glutes per week, but if they're all taken like not anywhere near close to failure, it's not fucking worth it. You would be much better off doing 12 sets of glutes per week where you push those sets all the way very close to failure. You'll see way better results that way. So I've talked about this in other videos, but that whole concept of pushing close to failure, that's what matters the most. You can do all the reps, all the sets, all the exercises, 
it's not going to get you to where you want to be unless you push yourself very close to failure. So for the most part, I like doing two to three sets. Usually three sets is where I like to end up. I will definitely do three sets for more of like the compound or accessory based movements. So movements like hip thrust, movements like RDLs, movements like lunges or rows or pull downs. I'm usually doing three sets on those for the more isolation based exercises, you know, doing things like leg extensions, leg curls, bicep curls, triceps. I will do a lot of like two sets that are again, very close to, if not all the way to failure. I'll do up to three sets on those as well. And again, it just depends on the program, but definitely for the more bigger compound movements, I'm doing three sets. And for the more isolation based movements where you're just like working one joint, maybe in that two to three set range. And remember, this is working sets. And so you have to make sure, let's say you're doing a hip thrust. And let's say on set one, you do just the barbell for five reps because you're just like getting the form down. And then you do 135 for like five reps just to get the form down. And then you do 225 for five reps just to get the form down. And then like your working set weight is 275. And then you do three sets at 275. The bar, 135 and 225, those were warm up sets, not working sets, warm up sets. So in total, you would do six sets for the exercise because you had three warm-up and three working. But remember, those warm-up sets, they're not meant to be taken anywhere near close to failure. So you shouldn't be spending much time on them and you also shouldn't be like exerting a lot of energy during those warm-up sets. It's just to make sure you get your form down. It's just to make sure you, you feel good about the movement and then be able to take things from there. So for exercises, that's what I'd say. And then again, one to three exercises per workout. Remember, that's for like a specific muscle group. So again, if we just stick on the glutes, for example, one to three exercises of glutes per workout. Again, if, if you're doing only one exercise for your glutes that day, I mean, if you're really trying to like grow your glutes, I wouldn't probably recommend that. That's the other part to this. And so people will say, oh, if I just do eight sets of hip thrust, isn't that like, okay, cool, I'm getting my eight sets. Yeah, you are, but you're only working your muscle in one range of motion in one resistance profile in, in a specific position. So a hip thrust that challenges your glutes in the shortened position. If you're just doing eight sets of that, that's all you're getting done. As opposed to, let's say you do three sets of a hip thrust where you challenge your glutes in the shortened position. Then you do three sets of a Romanian deadlift where you really get a big stretch on your glutes and you can challenge your glutes in that like lengthen to mid position. And then let's say you do two sets of a walking lunge where again, it's a single leg unilateral movement and you're working your glutes now. You now have three different ways you're hitting your glutes from different angles, from different resistance profiles, challenging the muscle in different ways. You can now see way better results that way than just doing like eight sets of a hip thrust, for example. This is why I like to include like throughout the course of your workouts here, usually two to three exercises per muscle group if you are really trying to, you know, again, like uh, uh, focus on those. Again, we'll stick on the glutes. Let's say you're not really trying to like grow your quads, for example, but you are trying to grow your glutes. You might just do one exercise of quads at three sets and on your next leg day, you might do one exercise of quads at three sets. So you have six total sets. And remember, if you're trying to just like maintain your progress in a specific muscle group, you don't need to do a ton for it, right? But if you are trying to really focus on a specific muscle group, you would probably stick to that two to three exercises per workout, two to three sets, maybe up to four sets for a given exercise. And then again, just remember, if you are focusing on like your triceps, for example, right? Because some people might say, how do I hit all my muscle groups on upper body? Well, okay, if you have two upper body days, you know, whether it's your four day split or a three day split, if you're doing upper body and you know day one, you do three sets of a tricep extension, and then day two, you do three sets of an overhead tricep extension, you've done six sets of triceps for the week. And again, you should already be doing chest press. 
You should already be doing your shoulder press, push-ups. You should be doing these movements that are already working your triceps. So again, you don't need as many exercises or sets for like your arms or your side lateral raises, for example, or your rear delts, like your rear, the, the back of your shoulder. It's getting worked in pull downs and rows. I don't need you doing four exercises for your rear delts in one workout. That just wouldn't, it wouldn't make any sense. And so if you're focusing on your rear delts, for example, you can do one exercise for three sets, two times a week. That's going to fall you right in the four to six, four to eight uh, sets per muscle group per week range, which on top of all the other work you're, you're doing for your back and shoulders already, that's going to be enough to see change. And again, just one last time. All of this is these working sets that are taken very close to failure. The reason people try to do so many exercises and so many sets is because they're not pushing close to failure. What you have to understand is more isn't better. Better is better. And so if you can just actually get on a proper program and you can make sure you have everything laid out for you and you just take those sets very close to failure, you won't need to do as many exercises or as many sets because the sets you are doing, you're pushing them farther. And that's what makes you see progress anyway. Again, you can do all the sets and all the reps and every, all the exercises in the world. If you don't take them close to failure, it's not going to matter. So just keep that in mind as well. And I will say this, if you watch this video and you're a little bit confused and you're just like, please just take the guesswork out of it for me. What you can do is head to the link in the description of this or just type in erfclubhouse.com. It's my personal app that I made that has all of my workout programs right inside. So when you join, you will get access to all of my workout programs, all of, you know, and I lay everything out for you. How many sets, how many reps. We have videos of every single exercise covering exactly what you should be doing, right form, wrong form, what muscles to work, how many days per week, the splits are set up. Everything is inside of the app. And so so if you're interested in that, again, just head to erfclubhouse.com. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. All right.